in a world threatened by disaster, where the water is riddled with toxins and the soil is unsafe for human use. The number of diseases are growing each year and our forests and animals are disappearing at astronomical rates. In a world threatened by terrorism and our homes are being threatened by ants. One man is working tirelessly to save mankind from itself. Paul Stamets has found a common thread in the solution to all these problems. Mushrooms! Uh, my name is Paul Stamets. I'm a mycologist and um, this is my friend Agaricon. It's one of the oldest uh, growing mushrooms in the world, if not the oldest growing mushroom. Uh, this mushroom is exclusive to the old growth forest and it's sort of a sentinel species that is core to my philosophy that we should listen to nature. And the fact that this mushroom can exist for um, up to a hundred years in the depths of the old growth forest subjected to extreme weather conditions, you know, massive amounts of rain, wind, freezing, and it doesn't rot. And it's got a host defense of resistance against pathogens. And if we look at the evolution of fungi and habitats, fungi build soils. And the fact that these fungi have been able to articulate ways of, of symbiotically uh, coexisting with other communities of organisms, including plants, you know, uh, other fungi, bacteria. I think it's a lesson. We are all communities of uh, and collections of uh, large assemblies of microorganisms, and nature has sorted out a lot of this. And before we go, you know lacklusterly down the road with, as Neanderthals with nuclear weapons, I think it's time for us to reflect about where we came from. Through hundreds of millions of years of evolution, um, the soil has been built by these, fung by these fungi and we are children of the soil. And if we invest in the soil biosphere, we invest in, in our descendants' future. This is just one, one of the many thousands of species that is very close to perishing. And like rivets in an airplane, when we lose a species out of the fabric of nature, uh, at what point will we have catastrophic failure? Um, we have a sense that catastrophic failure is impending, and indeed we may have entered into six X, the sixth greatest extinction event known in the history of life on this planet. But we're not entering this 6x period uh, without knowledge of the fact that it is coming to us. So if we can't get our act together to steer uh, the survival of our habitats, which also support us, which means our own survival, then we will perish as 99% of other species have perished in the evolution of life on this planet. But we have a consciousness uh, that we can benefit from. I'm hoping that our consciousness will be expanded to the point that we can do something for our children's children. Thank you.